You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. <laughs> Yo, I'm serious. I'm serious about it. No, I'm not joking. Yeah, I'm not really missing words. Oh, babe, who just called you? Who else? Benjamin. I don't know why he doesn't want to let me be. Well, it's actually very obvious. I mean, you're an angel and nobody wants to lose his um, angel. Well, it's late now. Okay? He's just wasting his time because I have moved on to a better man. <laughs> Which brings me to a question. Um, sincerely, tell me the truth. Am I the reason you don't want him no more? Well, after he did all he did to me, I... I didn't intend to accept him back. Yes, no matter what. But when you came into my life, you wiped away all the memories and thoughts of him in my head. Okay. And right now, baby boy, you are the only one I think about. You and you alone. <laughs> well, this is the part where I get to blush, right? Yeah, you're allowed to blush, <laughs> but don't cover your hands and face. <laughs> okay, all right. You know, the thing is that, you know, with you has always been one kind of journey that... <coughs> Uh, baby, what is it? <coughs> you want water? Let me get you water. Sorry. <coughs> no, 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 no. My hair is on the. Hela, use the hela. Yeah. Oh, no. See, I have been through tough times. But you came in and changed everything. I have been bitten by the sun, the rain. But your love came in like an umbrella to shade me. The shade you gave me has given me soccer in life and hope. I have been through drowning in agony, in fear, in tears. But you brought me to the shores of hope, happiness, joy, and futuristic goals. Now here's my question. Will you bring all those compassion and love to be with me under one roof? Will you marry me? Please. <laughs> yes, I'll marry you. <laughs> Hey. Uh, yeah, very well noted. Oh, okay then. Um, hey, hi, Tonya. Hi. Hello. I will call you back shortly. Yeah. Sarah, 
You are just coming to work by this time. You're late, girl. Is that how to say good morning to the latest bride in town? Oh my god. No way. No, no bloody way. <laughs> he proposed in a unique way and I said yes! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. This is beautiful. I know. <laughs> oh. oh my god. <laughs> Oh, oh, unbelievable! <laughs> so, who is going to be your chief bridesmaid? Me, of course. No! No! Wait a minute. Did I just hear you say no? Okay, who then? <sighs> My best friend. Wow! <laughs> My best friend has another best friend oh, wow so you now have another you call her a best friend yes i have just one best friend and her name is tell 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 tonia <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I just cut it off <laughs> just stop like seriously you got me there you you actually did got me but girl what were you thinking I'd rather call off the wedding than have another be my best friend. I mean, uh, you're a great friend. I can never wish for another. Oh, oh thank you so much. <laughs> so sweet of you. Oh my God. And listen to me, I can never trade you for another. All right? Listen, today is not about our friendship. Come on, it's about your proposal. You are about to be a wife. Yes, you are a bride to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> you need to Let's talk about something. Yeah. Shall I pay? You need to give me the full story, <laughs> like the news in detail. How, how did you propose? How, how did you propose to you? I'll do all the telling in my office. We'll talk and drink. Let's go. I feel in you. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is God. Oh, I'm coming. I can't take it anymore. This is man's inhumanity to another man. Why would you humiliate my husband to be like that? This is the third time and it's no longer funny. It's not. Jesus. So you're not talking me? Can't you see what that lunatic has done to you? Oh, Father, please. Don't even go there. Don't change the topic. You know that AGK has nothing to do with this. AGK has nothing to do with this. And so what? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? How could you be defending that low life that doesn't know when to take a bow? Right? Someone that is not needed in this family. Why can't he quit? How can he be coming here knowing fully well that he's not well? Oh, shut up and stay out of this. I wasn't talking to you. Look who is talking. If AGK is a low life, what would you call yourself? Are you comparing AGK and I? Ah, Ebuka. A Luciana Fuaya. Hey, you better think again. Oh, please, don't be deceived. Comparing you to AGK would be a slap on his face. And I will not do that. Shut up. Jesus. Did I waste my money to train you only for you to end up with a pauper? Father, he is not a pauper. He is hardworking. He earns an honest living. Unlike some people that has been spoon fed from infants to adulthood. Rubbish. Are you referring to me? Whatever your small mind tells you. Enough of this. Enough. What are you ranting for? That I poured AGK a glass of juice? Let me tell you, if I ever see him in this compound again, I will shoot him 
and hand his corpse over to the police. You will do no such thing, father. I love him and I will get married to him. And no one will stop me. And please don't see over your dead body because you're not ready to become orphans yet. Excuse me. Move! Father. It's a very mean thing to say. It's the truth, Father. You mean, after all this time, you still blame your mother for her death? Yes. Yes, I blame her. You want her not to keep that pregnancy. Even the doctor advised her against it, but she refused. She said, over her dead body. At the end of the day, she died. She died making you a widower and saddling me with younger ones to take care of. At age 12, when I needed someone, a mother, to take care of me. And you think? Because of that boy you want to get married to, you had to bring it up again to force me into giving you my blessing. I love him, Father. I love him. All I ask is for you to bless our union. Please. Please, Father, bless our union and I promise you will never regret it. I can't! She's a record. Father, all my life I have done everything you asked me to do. I have obeyed you. I didn't read medicine and surgery because he asked me not to. I remained a Catholic because you forbade me from leaving the Catholic Church. I didn't date Ibanga 18 because you said he was from another tribe. Father, I obeyed you, even though it broke my heart, but I obeyed you. I have done everything you asked me to do. I am just asking you for... Just this one. Just this one. Father, please do it for me. I love him. He is the one I want to spend the rest of my life with. Please, Father, I beg you with everything you hold it. Please, Father. Please. And how are you? And look at what are you doing in my office? What else? Other than to see your beautiful face. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Listen, if you don't have anything serious to say to me, please leave. As you can see, I've got work loads to attend to right now. Hey, welcome. Uh, okay. Excuse me. I know you want me as much as I do. Oh, yes. So, 
Stop being here stronger, comply. Eh? And stop gassing yourself up, young man. Comply to what exactly? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Wait. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Listen, I'm being very serious right now. I need you to leave my office at once and do not, for the sake of your own life, try this again. Do you hear that? Leave my office now. Leave! Have you forgotten who you're talking to? Oh, really? I know I'm talking to Ebuka. Son of Chief Ezugu, who does not know when he oversteps his boundaries. For God's sake, can you leave my office right now? I need you to leave my office. Hey, hey, I'm happy. Well, um, in case you've forgotten, I am a booker. The very handsome guy that no lady receives. Oh, yeah. And you've got one right before you. Excuse you! Okay. <laughs> 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 And I'm still waiting for an answer. Um, Father, the truth is that they have blown this issue out of proportion. Huh? I was just trying to correct her, that's all. And what was her offense, if I may ask? Well, um, She did not do her job. Rather, she was busy having a nice time on phone with her boyfriend. And that did not go down well with me, so I have to take it personal with her. <laughs> so you decided to pin her against the wall and was trying to rape her? Mm -hmm. Father, I did not rape her. I wasn't even trying to rape her. Eh? Like I said, they have blown this issue out of proportion with their words to you. And most of their words are lies. Eh? How, how will I rape someone in my father's company? How is that possible? You have tested my patience far too long. And I will no longer let it slide. You are hereby suspended indefinitely as head of human resources. Father, isn't this too, too, too harsh? Isn't this too, too much? Eh? What, what, what did I do? What did I do, eh? I was just trying to correct and uh, punish an erring staff and you are suspending me. Sexual assault is a punishable crime. And I would have handed you over to the law enforcement agency. But Fortunia, who pleaded on your behalf. But let me warn you, if I ever see you one inch close to that lady, you will know whom your father is. Now get out of my sight. Whatever, this is too harsh. This is not nice. This is not nice at all. Eh? Why will you listen to her? So you're believing the words of a stranger rather than your own son, right? Okay. 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 Suspension. Okay. Problem. Yeah, my 
Wande. How could your father be that man? Eh? Why would he suspend you over this? Why? Okay, see me. Ugo. He always takes it personal anytime he sees me with that girl. And to that, I'm beginning to suspect him. I think he is having a thing with that girl. That only explains the girl's insolence towards me. See, I share in that idea. Uh, it's clear now, it's clear. This is why she has been rejecting you and insulting you. Eh? Uh, it's obvious. She has been sharing beds with your father. Yes. To think that my father would punish me because of his mistress is so disheartening to say the least. And I won't allow that slide. I will never allow that slide. So what do you want to do now? If my father can suspend me from the company because of his mistress, then my inheritance is at stake. Just now. I'm not yes. going to keep quiet. I must do something. I must do something. And that will be very fast. Uh, well, um, Ibuka, I don't know what you have on your mind. But you have to be very careful. You know your father can be very smart. You understand? You know. Yes. He won't see it coming. Okay. It's time to take over. Omo ba lo siana afuaya. Oke mo na joka. Ebuko dogu. You see, I am solidly behind you. Wanne. Go outside and wait. Thank you, sir. Why must it be him? We can't find another? Father, we should be happy that he came up with such a brilliant idea within a short period of time. Why should we find another? Because I'm not comfortable with him. I am not. Father, why are you not comfortable with him? We are lucky to find Okechuku's replacement without stress. Chizera, I hope this is not a ploy to bring him closer to the family. Because it won't work. You have failed. Father, whether you like it or not, he is already close to the family. He's my husband to be. Listen, Father. This is a federal government contract we are talking about here. Don't risk it all because of sentiment. I just, I just hope it works out. I hope. Father, have I failed you before? Trust me on this. I know what I'm doing. Okay. Let's go.
I demand an explanation now. Young man, I'm talking to you. Explain to me, why did you do that? Why did I do what? What is your headache in this? Listen, Ibuka. If you think I will sit back and watch you milk this company dry, then you have to think again. This is not the first nor the second report I'm getting. Dad put me in charge. Ebuka, I am in charge! The position I will take back soon. And by that you mean? I mean that you manipulated and wangled your way into my inheritance. And I am out now to correct it. I don't even care whose feather will be ruffled. I've become trying so hard not to take you serious. Don't let me take a decision on you. Because if I do, you will regret it for the rest of your life. Jesus, my own decision is coming. And it will hit you so hard. Watch and see. Rubbish! What just happened here? Did Ibuka just do what? <laughs> no, I, I don't think so. Ibuka, it's high time I took you serious. 